Welcome to A Cow's Opinion, where I go over the latest and greatest news throughout the internet and give you my opinion. It is A Cow's Opinion, which makes it a moot point, so it doesn't matter. Don't get mad. And it is all Activision all the time, but not really. However, due to still being a bit under the weather and it being the slow portion of the year for news, both of our stories have to do with Activision. First of all, the UK public comments are in and... Surprisingly, they want Microsoft to buy them. So in the United Kingdom, they have the Competition and Markets Authority, which is the government body that, like here in America, we have the Federal Trade Commission, is required to go through and make sure that competition is fair and that if one company is buying another, it's not going to give any kind of monopoly or unfair market share or anything. So the UK's Competition and Markets Authority, the CMA, decided to have a public comment period where anyone could send information and surprisingly enough 75 percent of the public comments were pro major merger excuse me so they received over 2100 emails and hit that 75 percent in level which is much higher than i thought most of the responses for pro were along the lines of sony and microsoft are stronger I'm sorry, Sony and Nintendo are stronger than Microsoft in console gaming, and the merger will help Microsoft compete more closely against them, or the merger is a reaction to Sony's business model for PlayStation, which has historically involved securing exclusive content or early access to popular cross-platform gaming franchises such as Final Fantasy and Silent Hill, and yes, yes, yes. Dude, anyone who, we'll get into it in just a second, but anything and anyone who wants to punch on Sony, I'm for you. Now, of course, if three quarters of the comments were for the merger, a quarter were against. And the most common responses were things along the lines of Microsoft is already dominant in PC operating systems. And this merger is an attempt to gain a similar position in gaming. Or, this would be the largest merger in gaming history, paving the way for a potential string of future acquisitions of publishers, such as Take-Two, EA, Ubisoft, thereby increasing concentration in the market. That last one's kind of maybe, but in, they're not necessarily wrong either. So, the a public opinion was from October to re very recently, and the CMA plans to keep gathering evidence and publish findings before final report, which is still months away. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., the FTC is planning to sue, but I don't think they have much of a legal leg to stand on. But yeah, uh, going back to this, the fact that Sony has been saying, no, Microsoft can't do this, they're going to... Sony has a history of... Securing exclusives or at least early release that Sony has a history of doing this themselves And now that Microsoft is finally bringing its massive war chest to play They're suddenly very pro gamer as well as the fact that one of Sony's most recent arguments was if you let Microsoft do this They'll increase prices and then Sony increased prices in themselves So no don't I'm not saying that Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard is a hundred percent great I think it's the only way to get morons like Bobby Kotek and the corrupt leaders and lawyers and accountants and Activision Blizzard out of the way of all those wonderful workers. But no, Sony's not in this for you. They're not looking out for you. They are seeing somebody who has studied their playbook of exclusivity and is winning it by running a more advanced version of it and they just don't like it. They just don't want to spend time and money making their own first person shooter to compete with Call of Duty. They decided long ago that they couldn't beat Call of Duty and Halo, and so Sony doesn't really try. And now they're scared that Microsoft will have both Halo and Call of Duty, and they will have nothing to go up against them. So, no. Anything that slaps Sony around, thank you to our friends across the pond. Speaking of Activision Blizzard, don't think that I'm all pro against them anymore, because... And proof positive that Activision Blizzard's executives are the scummiest scumbags who ever scummed so scumbags. Activision Blizzard president has left to take over the Bored Ape Yacht Club, which is literally an NFT project of a bunch of stupid ape pictures. So Daniel Allegri is leaving the company to become the CEO of blockchain company Yuga Labs, which owns the famous ugly NFTs like Bored Ape and CryptoPunks. NFTs are a waste of money. That's not in the article, I'm just saying that. 
He was named in a February lawsuit alleging Microsoft Activision Blizzard misled the SEC about its contested Microsoft merger and will help you go create a vision of truly interoperable metaverse, co-founder Wiley Arno said in a December 19th announcement. Had to cough, sorry. The former CEO, the co-founder, and Arno have been on the hunt for someone Daniel's skill set for a long time. Scumbag, perhaps? Whose company started being investigated by the SEC in October. <laughs> Continue. Uh, usually I don't like Kotaku's reporting style, how they have to do it. But that cheap little shot, mwah. He brings to valuable experience across entertainment, e-commerce, and global strategic partnerships, all of which are critical aspects of an immersive Web3 world built by creators and for creators. Not listed in this quote is, we're just trying to take a bunch of money from people by selling you JPEGs that really aren't worth anything. Now, Microsoft also called Activision Blizzard a key role in the development of metaverse platforms, but... I mean, more and more of these projects are going bankrupt and are just stupid. Meta company, formerly Facebook itself, has poured billions of dollars a quarter into it with nothing to show for it. It's it's a product that nobody wants, really. Now, Allegri has said that Yuga Labs has quickly made a, na made a name for itself through a powerful combination of storytelling and community. Oh, God. God, you can just smell the dumb coming off of this. I can't even read this with a straight face. The company's product pipeline of products, partnerships, and IP represents a massive opportunity to define the metaverse in a way that empowers creators and provide universes with true ownership of the identity and digital assets, or at least long enough while we can clean out their wallets. Now, earlier this month, NFT law collectors filed a class action lawsuit against you claiming the company deceived buyers by inflating prices through alluring but paid celebrity endorsements. And if you haven't noticed, on things like this and FTX, celebrities are getting in big trouble because they were paid a lot of money to vouch for these things, but really, crypto and NFTs are really high-risk, low-reward investments right now with the economy going the way it is with high interest rates. Nobody wants this stuff. I mean, maybe some of the crypto will come back, but most cryptocurrencies aren't really used for anything. It's just the promise that one day it could be used for something. And if you want to gamble a small portion of your money on that, that's fine. But these guys were telling you this was the hot next new thing any day now. And David Allegri also chose this disgusting... Why do you want this? This is his personal ape. Sounds like a match made in tech heaven to me. Really? No. Congrats to the new couple. Stay out of trouble if you can. This all just goes to show what I'm trying to end this thing with. And I hope that you guys don't mind me putting my huge opinion on this. Is that Activision Blizzard is a company that really needs to clean out the executives. These guys are scumbags who want to nickel and dime you. We've seen the quality of Activision Blizzard games go down overall over the past few years. Warcraft 3 Reforged is just one of many examples of upset people. I'm worried about Diablo 4 even though the cutscenes look great and what little gameplay they've shown look great. How are they going to ruin it? I don't know yet, but they probably will. These guys need to get out of here. I understand that... People aren't happy that Microsoft is possibly going to own the seventh biggest game developer and publisher in the world. I think it's necessary to get Bobby Kotek the hell out of Dodge. And I'm willing to take the chance and roll with that. But let me know in the comments what you think about these stories and what you think about the merger. Do you think it's going to go through personally? I do. The FTC is going to have a good fight, but they have... Not a great track record lately, and they don't really have a lot of ammo in a Steam and Epic Game Store world to say that one company being bought is going to stop them from, uh, is going to stop anyone from making a first-person shooter franchise or a new video game. I'm not saying I 100% agree with it, I'm just saying from a legal basis, a lot of uh, lawyers are saying they don't really see it. I know the FTC really wants a win, 
and they really want to put, try to put tech in their place because they haven't challenged a bunch of mergers that they probably should. But this one, I think this one's going to go through. Maybe not in time by July 2023 like Microsoft wants. But then again, Microsoft has a right to a speedy trial in this country and will probably insist on getting it done in the spring so they can acquire them for the summer. Let me know in the comments. Christmas is almost here. I hope that you guys are staying warm. It's a freeze warning where I'm living. Uh, you can probably see down here it says 47 degrees where I am right now and the sun's barely set. So it's going to get real cold here real fast. Uh, I am still recovering from the worldwide pandemic thing that I cannot mention by name or they will suppress this video. But guys, I hope that you play more games because games are awesome and I'll see you next time.